Hello and welcome back to the Android alarm clock tutorial. Um, so in this video series we're going to make a notification because um, we've tried this out in our last video but when we set the alarm and then we close the uh, um, and then we close the app the alarm will sound but um, there's no way to get to the uh, app itself. You have to find it on your programs list and open it up and we just want to wait for um, a little thing to show up, a notification to show up so people have an easy way of finding um, the app to turn off. So I'm going to make a notification um, for my app. And the first thing we want to do is um, set up the notification service. And we do that by using the notification manager. Notification cation manager. Ah, oh, can't spell manager. Um, and we can just call it. Uh, not oh, I'll just call it notify manager. I can't spell this. Uh, manager. And we just make a new instance of that. Notification Manager, um, and we get our system service notification service, and that will um, give us a notification. And next, we want to um, when this notification shows up, then we want to click it, and then have it something pop up. And what do we ha want to pop up? We want to have them have the main activity pop up. So we want to set the intent or set up an intent that goes to the main activity. So it's going to be intent, whoops, capital intent, um, intent main activity. And this goes from, whoops, new intent. Um, this get application context and we want to go to main activity dot class excellent um, and then we want to I think I believe that's it <laughs> all right and now let's make the notification um, parameters, I guess, parameters. So first we want to do is set up the notification manager. So we want to make a new notification. We would call it, oh, we had to, we'll do that later. We'll call it um, notification um, pop-up. <laughs> and we want to set up the notification mat, a builder notification builder this and what do we want to set up oh it's annoying so I'm just going to alt enter yes and it's should be working why oh I found a period yeah the method is builder <laughs> there you are so we want to set up a first a title and we use that using a context title um, and what do we want to show we want to say um, an alarm is going off it's fine it's going on doesn't like oh yes because I have to have build at the end and then it will allow me um, I just actually want to see what sort of yeah so there are a lot of things we can use we can have numbers we can have priority icons sound vibrate I mean there are a lot of stuff so uh, we're not gonna use all of them of course and then we have a subtitle which is set context text a content text um, we can just have, I like to have a click me 
people know what's going on. <laughs> um, you can even set up an icon. I don't know if that works or not. Do I have even have icons in my drawable? No, I don't. So we're not going to set up an icon. Um, but here's what uh, the two important things I want. We want to have set content uh, intent. And that means when we click on it, um, it'll take us to... Ooh, it wants a pending intent. All right, so we actually have to make of a pending intent. Sorry about that. <laughs> I was wondering why I had pending intent in my notes. So you also have to set up a pending. Oh, because that does make sense. Because um, it doesn't send the intent right away. It waits until the alarm goes off. That makes sense. <laughs> so pending intent. Um, we'll call it pending intent main activity. Sorry for the really long thing. <laughs> um, pending intent. And we want to get this activity. Um, context, this. Request code, I don't know. Let's just put zero. <laughs> um, intent. So we want to do intent activity. And int flags. I don't know. Let's just do our default zero. You can't ever go wrong with zero. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Um, we'll probably have to read the uh, manual to figure that out. Um, so our intent will be pending intent main activity. And well, what's going on here? Uh, I see. We'll, we'll do that later. Um, and then we want to set auto cancel. And this means um, when we, um, true, when we uh, click on it, it automatically disappears. So you don't have to manually make the notification disappear. Okay, so this seems uh, excellent. So I'm going to start up my emulator and when it's um, fully running then ooh, whoops, I just sent to my device that I'm charging. Ah, darn. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to start the emulator and I'm going to continue the video when that happens. <laughs> Okay, so we're back. Um, I just realized there is a red error here, and it's saying that the this notification builder method uh, requires an API of 16. Um, I never know what to do with this sort of thing. I guess we could have two things. We can surround with the this thing. So if the user's SDK is you know less than 16, then don't run this. So I guess. I mean, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I guess I should read the manual for the deprecated version of Notification Builder. Um, but I guess people with um, older phones just won't be able to get a notification, I guess. Uh, another thing we're going to do is actually set up the um, notification call command. Because I just realized we made this pop up and we set up the manager, but look, it's read out we never actually um, used it so let's start that so notification manager and we're going to call the method notify and if we call it we notice that these are our two um, our two parameters of int and notification so I'm not sure what the int is for but like I said you can't go on wrong with zero <laughs> and our notification is going to be notification pop up. Come on. Auto complete, please work. Okay, I'll type it out myself. No notification pop up. It seems to not know what it is. That's weird. Why can't it resolve it? It's right there. If I copy paste. Um that is Weird. It seems not no. Oh, because of this if else statement being weird. Okay. Um, I'm gonna actually control Z. So I never used this build thing before. So I um, there's probably a reason why I never use it. It messes things up. So I'm gonna do the first option, which is just um, <laughs> I'm going to just add the target API, and that's gonna add this line of code right here. 
And I'm not sure what it does, but it doesn't mess up the rest of my code, so... <laughs> let's try it again. So, subnavigation uh, start command. And we'll try that again. Navigation manager dot notify. And now, okay, now you can see it. Great. <laughs> um, so let's just run our emulator. I'm charging my phone right now. Um, and, okay, so I have it up running again. Um, there's something weird going with the alarm. So I'm going to set the time. Alarm off. And I'm going to try to close this quickly so we can get to notifications. Um, there you go, you see it. <laughs> and we click on. So it's only 7 seconds. Um, but you can also turn it off. It looks like when we click the off button, the notification also goes off. And that, I guess that makes sense. Because, because, um... We put this notification in the general on start command area. Now that I'm looking at it, we should probably put it in one of these if else statements. Probably here, I think. Um, I think I might put the notification here test it out because right it should only come up when the uh, sound starts <laughs> and I don't know if that makes sense to you makes sense to me <laughs> um, so I'm gonna put it here and so now I'm gonna start up my emulator again I close this we don't need to but it's nice Someday I should check out this emulator, see if it what kind of programs are on it. Looks like it's fun. Alright, and we're gonna click on our location. Alarm off. Phew! And I think it works. Now there is no other invocation, just the send SD card. I don't know what that is. But it looks like um it works now. Hooray! Um so this I think this is good. This is excellent. Um, so you don't have the randomly picking song thing. So I might do that in the next video, but I might. There's probably some copyright issues with Christopher Hitchens stuff, and I, I can't really find who owns this copyright anymore um, because he is deceased. So um, I might uh, change this to like a generic, you know, dove or bird song <laughs> sort of thing. Alright, so um, thanks for watching for Novocation and we might work on our randomly picking song thing next video. Thanks!